We're here at the fights Miguel Burchell against uh, Nakatita, Jeremiah Nakatita, and obviously you got your big fight coming up about a month out now, um, Oscar Valdez. Just about halfway through camp, how are you feeling? I feel great. I feel sharp. Um, I feel like we box tomorrow. I feel like uh, I put on a great performance, and the scary thing is I still got a lot of time left, so um, I'm definitely sharp, and I can't wait to see how I feel in a couple weeks from now. I can see in your face you look like you kind of wish it was tomorrow, like you're ready to go. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I, like I said, I've been putting work in. I'm sharp. I've been putting my rounds in. And uh, like I said, in a couple of weeks, it's going to be a scary sight. And um, Valdez, you wanted this fight for a long time. A lot of different big fights. It didn't seem like it was going to happen. They were talking about Navarrete for him. Uh, just how did it all come about? Or are you surprised that the fight actually is happening? Yeah, I'm definitely surprised. Uh, when I first heard about it, I definitely got really surprised. But I was happy at the end of the day. Um, Valdez ain't really had too much of a choice. I feel like once the Navarrete fight fell out, uh, the numbers wasn't as good as they would have thought it was going to be. And they thought it was going to be a bigger fight than what they expected it, but it wasn't that big of a fight as me and him. So he had no choice but to be in this position. And now he's here, and let's see how he do. And I read something that you think that maybe his camp, like Canelo and Reynoso, kind of pushed him a little bit. Like, hey, this is the fight yeah. to make unification. Yeah, Can Canelo don't duck nobody. He fights everybody at the end of the day. So you got to realize um, if he's in his ear, he's definitely telling him that's the fight that you need to have. And uh, you got to respect somebody like Canelo and Eddie Reynoso for making a fight. And what do you think of if this is a fighter? He was a big underdog against Burchell, but obviously he upset the odds and knocked him out. This ain't no Burchell. Uh, and I'm not comparing. I'm just saying, <laughs> but what do you think of him? Because that fight even, I, a lot you, of people weren't picking him. What I take from that, I feel like you can't count him out. You can't look at him like he's a... Uh, an easy fight on uh, Burchell probably thought he was an easy fight. I feel like he slept on him. Um, I'm not sleeping on him, but at the end of the day, I know this not no Burchell. This not one of them moments where I expect him to go in there and dethrone me or, or beat me or beat the odds. Um, I'm not gonna let that happen. And you already, you know, have a big name, uh, two division champion, like I said. But what does a fight, a unification win over a guy like him, do for your career? Pound for pound, me. Put me on a pound for pound list. Uh, Based on my performance, I feel like you put me somewhere on the pound for pound list. Uh, maybe high if I perform at a super high level, which I will. But um, it's just all depending on the performance. But I know for a fact that after the win, I should be on the pound for pound list. I see you on Twitter. You're pretty honest about it. You're like, you know, I'm not supposed to be there yet. But yeah. it's like you, you kind of seem to pay attention to all that, like where you could end up and whatnot. Yeah, I pay attention to everything. I, I'm a boxing fan at the end of the day. All I think about is boxing. Boxing is on my mind. That's why you see me tweet a lot. I talk a lot of shit on Twitter. But at the end of the day, um, I fought Jamel my last fight uh, for his belt. Um, I went and took his belt from him. And now I'm unifying with Valdez my next fight after that. I feel like I deserve to be on the pound for pound list.